Okay, we're going to start uh, with uh, SWU data. And this actually comes from uh, page 239 in the text. Um, and it's about a, uh, this case is about a president, a university president who's received complaints about the game day experience. And then they've uh, collected these uh, complaints over a period of time. Our instructions are over here in the red box. Create Pareto chart to analyze data of complaints using the following steps. One, insert one column to the left of Excel column C. So Excel column C is here. This is grade C. Don't confuse it with column C. So we're going to go down here into column C. Let's just go into this box. Right click, uh, hit insert uh, entire column. And now we have a column to the left of the original column C, and it becomes the new column C. Label new Excel column C grades D through S. So we'll go up here and type in grades D through F. And um, it, it's um, the other labels there centered. So we'll center those. And then next we have to, in the column you label grades D through F, sum the grades D through F for rows 3 through 12. So we're going to do it for row 3 and then copy. So um, equals sum and then open parenthesis and then we're going to capture these two columns over here. I click and and once I have that I can just hit enter. Uh, Excel will automatically close the parenthesis for you. Uh, is that right? Yes, 5 plus 5 is 10 so that's that looks right. We'll um, copy that and drag it down and uh, we have accomplished uh, number three. Number four, create a Pareto chart of grades D through F and QM percent grades D through F. So we're going to go up here and and um, highlight this area then um, insert and we'll just go to recommended charts. Recommended charts has a Pareto that looks like that and we click on that and it inserts a chart for us. We move it sort of out of the way where it's not overlapping with any um, uh, text and obliterating any text. Maybe you make it a little larger if you'd like just to where you can see a little bit better. Uh, we never ever ever leave a chart title saying chart title so we have to give it an appropriate chart title. This is about game day complaints as you read in the little note there and these are grades uh, D through F um, so that's a good title I usually like to make the borders a little bit clear so I right click and and uh, hit format chart air area actually I've already got over here to the right I already have a place for a border I put a solid line I hit the width up to, I usually put the width up to about three and make sure the color is black. It may be blue originally. And and so that, there is that. And then finally comment on areas of focus. I'm just going to go down here. A few comments. Uh, focus on uh, speed of service, seating, traffic, and prices originally um, special emphasis on speed of service since it's um, if you notice in the chart it's, yeah, it's pretty close to double uh, any the next uh, closest uh, complaint so we definitely want to give special attention to speed of service. Just do what makes sense. A little bit, a little bit difficult to read this chart in terms of the percentage. Where exactly is 80 percent? Going across 80 percent might be, might include actually printed program. I'd be okay if you did that. I'd be okay if you, you maybe if you stopped after the first three. Definitely give me more than one, and give me, you know, capture most uh, certainly of the. Um, complaints. So that's um, that's all for um, uh, SWU data. You have completed that problem.